In today's video, I am going to do my facial release for stiff neck and shoulder guard. This person does martial arts and his request is when he turns his uh, neck to left, he wants kind of more stable position of neck. He complains tightness around here. So this is how much he can go. He wants to turn to left more. I think this tightness is from right side trapezius. Uh, right side scapular area, particularly upper area. You know, neck and head position is crucial for martial arts. If neck head are not stabilized, so uh, balance is not very stabilized. You know, there are a lot of balance sensor and visionary system around head, right? Ear and eyes. These are important to maintain a horizontal balance. My right hand is doing myofascial release for trapezius. And he complains tightness on lateral part of neck, right here. This is scaling. This is posterior scaling. Very nice. Because scaling attaches to ribcage, I kind of push his shoulder downward. In this case, there's more stretching for scaling. If I push shoulder down, ribcage is also pushed down. So I am giving stretch for scaling indirectly. Nice, it's very uh, supple. Yeah, his neck is turning to left very nicely. Good. Neck movement. Left, nice. And slight tightness here. This is anterior scaling. I was working on posterior scaling before. Now it's time to do a anterior scaling release. I am very careful now because around anterior scaling there is bundle of nerve. That is brachial plexus. Nice, and I want to check tension around first rib because there are many connective tissues and myofascia touching around first rib. Nice movement check. Very nice, very good length on lateral part of neck and he can rotate neck very, very nicely. That was it. I mainly did myofascial release for neck, shoulder muscle and the last technique was kind of a connective tissue osteopathic approach. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment and subscribe. See you next video.